I am about to spew 10 tips that are great for beginners and stuff I wish I knew when I started Grey Zone Warfare. Tip number one is obvious, but it even had me confused for a while, and it's all about reloading. Make sure your magazines are in your vest and not in your bag, because you won't be able to reload unless you drag and drop. Also, bring spare bullets unless you're going to an area that's using the exact same ammo type. Another thing to put in your vest though is your heals, because when you're trying to heal a teammate, putting the heal items in your vest actually allows you to heal them after examination. You also can't use heal items on your squad mates if it's in an MFAC, so make sure to drag and drop them out of your MFAC and into your vest. Talking about MFACs, that's tip three. Use your MFACs. I carry all of the required meds to help people out of a coma, heal myself fully a few times, and it only takes four to six slots. Granted, I put all of those in my lockbox, so if I die, I never actually lose them. Moving on to tip number four, when you're killing AI, loot them for mags, ammo, food, but mainly keys. Key rooms give really good loot, and all of the AI around that room does drop the key for that, but it's all at a percentage basis, so it is kind of based off luck. Also, you will eventually be getting a key book so that you can actually put all of your keys into one area. They are kind of tiny though. Speaking of good gear, that brings me into my next tip. Gear fear. Don't have gear fear. Unless you're in PvP, your body will stay there until you die again, and no one can loot it, and that includes your teammates. But if you die or leave the server, that body will disappear forever and all of the loot. Sometimes, losing loot isn't the worst thing in the world though, because inventory space is a really big problem. At first, I ended up getting the standard edition, just the base game, and I was having major issues with space, to the point that I wasn't even able to actually accept any of the rewards from all of the missions that I was doing. My recommendation is for at first, use an AK in the beginning and don't collect weapons unless you're gonna sell them or you want them. Obviously, keep the ones that you think are cool. Later down the road, pick an M4 or a 545 AK. I personally love the 545 AK. That's what I'm currently using with a two time scope and a suppressor. And it is one of my favorite weapons to use, at least for right now. I am planning on eventually trying to find a sniper rifle. I do have a Mosin, but I don't want to use the Mosin just because up close can be really dangerous. Sneaking into tip number seven is if you learned anything, be sure to subscribe and drop a like. It really helps with the algorithm. And if there's anything I missed, be sure to let me know down in the comments. In reality though, don't be scared to go on an adventure. And what I mean by that is in the PvEVP, go explore. Around level four or five, you get an area called YBL1 and it's a bunker. My buddy and I explored kind of in that general area before actually getting it. And we ended up taking out a bunch of AI and got some really good weapons. And I've been using those weapons since. My 545 AK came with the suppressor, but I did have to find the scope, but it did actually come from there. We also ended up bringing a few people and got them some loot. So if you don't already have one, get a microphone. A microphone is a big requirement for this game. I know it doesn't tell you it, but people are really friendly. People are willing to help you, at least in the PVE mode. And at the end of the day, if you're about to die and you have a bunch of AI coming at you, just start screaming, tell people. Maybe people will come. I've had one or a few times where people did end up coming and actually saving my ass and my buddy's ass. But getting one tapped is still a possibility. My buddy has been having an issue of getting one tapped by AI and not just like in the hard areas, literally everywhere. I even had it happen to me. One thing to note is that further you go in, the smarter and better equipped the AI are to kill you. Also, check your surroundings. I feel like people forget that they're in a war zone when they go into the inventory menu. And last but not least, tip number 10, single fire or automatic. Now this is personally more just a preference and not really a tip, but use single fire. It saves ammo, you can relax a little bit, you can get a good shot off, and at the same time, you're not spraying, but if you need to, you still can spray with single fire, or you can swap the mode and spray. Personally though, I just feel like automatic is wasting a lot of ammo, especially with the server lag right now, you can hit a few headshots and they won't die, so you might as well just try to tap them a few times instead of spraying your whole mag, but I had I've used automatic a few times at medium range and it's not the worst thing in the world so it is up to personal preference if any of these tips helped you and you guys want to go see
see me raid Fort Nerith with me and my buddy and actually bring that random person I was telling you that we got loot for, be sure to go check out that video. Also, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more.